Doing these five things in retirement could really put stress on your money plan, which could end up leading to more increased worry about your finances. And I wanna show you some examples of, of what some of these things can do in an actual retirement plan coming up. So in this video, I wanna just go over the five things that so that you're aware of them and hopefully you can plan ahead and not be unpleasantly surprised in retirement. But before I do, I'm Dave Zoller and my team and I have been helping people retire for the last 14 years by focusing on three key areas in retirement. It's the income planning, the investment planning, and then tax reduction strategies. We help a select number of high net worth clients, but we created this channel to share what works with people who are not clients. So I hope that you find it helpful. If you're thinking about retirement, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss these weekly videos. Now on to the first red flag. These are not in order of importance and some may apply to you and some may not. But the first one is uh, the red flag to be watching out for is that your main income source in retirement is going to be 401ks, IRAs, or other pre-tax retirement accounts. So why is this a red flag? Well, when you start taking money out of your retirement savings account, taxes are a major factor, right? Withdrawing from a, a normal 401k plan or, or IRA are subject, all of the income subject to ordinary income tax. So that million dollar IRA that you have might not really equal a million dollars after taxes. It might equal 850K or less, depending on you know social security or, or other income sources that you have. So here's a couple ways to think about fixing this. If you're not retired yet, think about increasing contributions to non-retirement accounts or maybe Roth IRAs. Having three types of retirement accounts that are taxed differently can give you more options when you're designing that tax efficient withdrawal plan. If you are retired, take a look at what your estimated tax rates might be a few years from now. And if you're able to convert pre-tax money now into Roth IRAs, and then if you can pay less tax now versus what you might do in the future, that could be another good option. I'll include the link to my favorite DIY retirement planner below that gives you a, few, a picture that could give you a picture of taxable uh, income and estimated taxes now and in the future. And again, this is one area where you should really consult with a tax or financial professional before doing anything, just to make sure that you're thinking about all the steps. On to the second red flag is, this can sometimes be seen as the silent killer, although it's hitting the headlines a lot in, in 2022, and that's inflation. And the red flag is that your investments could fail to keep pace with inflation. Many people who get close to retirement, they wanna increase security, which makes sense, and they wanna put more money into cash or conservative assets, or maybe build that conservative bucket that we talk about in the bucket strategy. And it seems like it, it's a safe thing, but when you look at it, if you had a million dollars in a bank account at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, you still got a million dollars. So that's kind of why it's the, the silent killer. But in reality, that $1 million could be worth $30,000 less or maybe 50,000, depending on how fast everything else we need to buy is increasing in price. That's inflation, right? So to maintain their net worth over the long term, the assets that you have that other people have, have to put in more effort to keep up with inflation. And higher than expected inflationary periods is one of the four economic seasons that we can go through. And just making sure that you've got asset classes that have historically done well during this season could be a good idea. And by the way, if this is helpful so far, if you like this sort of video, please click the like button so that hopefully more people can get help as well. Next, I'm gonna actually dive into a retirement plan and look at some of the impact of, of some of these red flags. And this next one is the red flag is just making either big gifts too soon in your retirement or, or uh, helping family with big things too soon in retirement. Now at Streamline, one of our core values is generosity and to help family and causes that you care about to, to really make a difference. But we wanna make sure that we do it the right way with our clients. We first wanna map out the entire retirement plan, make sure it's sustainable, look at a bunch of the what if scenarios and make sure it all works. Then we can work in some of those uh, other one-time possibilities. Like here is a, an example of a plan. Now, what if there was a one-time big expense? You can kind of see the gray bars over here. And let's say there was a one-time big expense in 2025. Or what if you had some weddings for kids? Or what if inflation rates changed or there was a big home purchase? Or, or you wanted to spend more in the go-go years, the early years of retirement. So the important thing here is have increased confidence with your decisions before you actually make the decision. It's really not a great feeling to make a financial decision and then be worrying about whether it was a good idea or a bad idea. Plan them out before retirement, have money earmarked 
for these gifts or bigger than normal expenses and just have that level 10 out of 10 confidence with what you're doing. And that's gonna make things just so much better. Now the next one, it's not gonna apply to everyone, but it's still important. And then the one after that is a red flag, but it's one that doesn't come till later in retirement. So you might not be thinking about it too much right now. So the one that won't apply to everybody, but we still wanna cover is going into retirement with debt and specifically non-mortgage debt, because that kind of debt, it's easier to handle when you're getting a work income and you know that paycheck's coming in. But once you move to more of a fixed income and those, uh, those debt payments, they can actually really have a negative impact on cash flow. So try not to carry that debt into retirement. If you do have it, try to get serious uh, on paying it down while still working. This next red flag is one that comes later and it makes it easy to not work it into your plan. And that's the possibility of needing an assisted living facility or home care or some sort of long-term care need in the future. There's really two options. You can self-insure, which a lot of people can do or some people can do. And then there's paying for insurance, of which there's a few options there too. About 70% of Americans age 65 and above, they're gonna require long-term care at some point in their lives. That's according to the US Department of Health and Human Services. Some can rely on family, which is great, but about half of those who need it, they're gonna have to pay some way on their own. So again, putting a, a long-term care what-if scenario can help you have more confidence in your current plan, or it may encourage you to explore some of the other options out there around insurance if it's needed. Now, if you wanna make sure that your retirement years are gonna be the best years of your life, watch this video that's coming up next about the seven things that the happiest retirees do in their retirement years. I hope that video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and, and like the video so that you don't miss the next one. And then I'll see you there. Take care.